This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar showcasing tips, tricks, and hidden techniques in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to format 3D text and add a cast shadow. It'd be nice if I could have something that's got some more oomph to it, and that is 3D text. Let's apply our basic title here, and we're back to our wimpy text again. But we can change it so easily. Watch this winter. And we're going to drag it down to here. And this time we're going to change the font. Let's work with something we haven't used at all before. It's a font called Giza. This is a slab serif font that just makes a statement that says, not only am I here, you're not paying attention to anything else except me. Look at the solidity of those serifs right there. That, that word makes a statement but it's still 2D. The way we change it is to go down here and check 3D text. And that quickly, it converts a 2D clip to 3D. Let's show the 3D settings. And we're gonna make this deep enough that we can see it in Cleveland. We're gonna set it to about 75. Then go up to the rotation area and rotate on the Y and I like something which is about 35 degrees. Nope, 35, not 350. And we'll just pull this over to right about there. And look at what we've ended up with. We've got this really nice, solid, block-like winter statement on the screen. But it's white. And be nice if it wasn't white. So let's go to... One of the really magical things of 3D text, we're going to change the material from single to multiple. We can now control the texture of the face, the corner between the face and the side, the side, the corner between the side and the back, and the back. I'm not going to move this text, so I'm only going to change the front and the front edge. I'm going to click on this, click the arrow. I'm going to set it to aged concrete. And Instantly, this looks a whole lot more interesting than simply white, or a color, or even a gradient. I'm a huge fan of texture. I'm going to change the edge as well, and we'll change this to grunge red. If we take a look at this, look at what we've got. We've got this texture here with the red edging and the white, which is just really cool. Now we can grab this and change it. The green, red, and blue lines, red, R, G, B, red, green, blue, is X, Y, Z. Use red to move on the X axis, green to move on the Y axis, and blue to move on the Z axis, and nothing gives a better sense of depth than rotating on the Y, the green axis. Except this text is just hanging there. It's so big, I should see a shadow from it. How do I add a shadow to this text? Select the text, go to the Effects menu, and search for, let's click on All, and search for Drop, and add the drop shadow to the text. And now we've got a really ugly, useless drop shadow, because it doesn't have any sense of reality there, it's just hanging. So select the text, go up to the video menu, and change the preset to perspective back. And instantly, that shadow is set to be much more in the background. We're going to bump the blur, bump the fall off so it blurs more, and decrease the opacity, because it's not a real bright, sunshiny day. And if we take a look at this full screen, Look at what we've got. The text is now casting a shadow on the background, making it look like the winter is actually there in real life. It just adds believability to our shot. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at tips, tricks, and hidden techniques inside Apple Final Cut Pro 10. 
For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 276. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.